the fruit of labor. Tarun was going to the desert for some research work. On his way, he felt very hot and thirsty. He sighted a cluster of huts at a distance and approached it. As he got closer, he could not believe his eyes. This village in middle of the desert was full of green trees. Tarun reached the house of the village headman and requested him for a glass of water. The village headman took him inside to a room which was well decorated. He switched on the cooler for Tarun and asked his servant to bring a glass of soft drink for Tarun. Tarun was amazed to see electricity in that village. After relaxing a little, he requested the headman to satisfy his queries. The village headman said with a smile, This village is a green miracle in the desert. It is the fruit of the labor of a single person. The headman told Tarun that twenty years ago, things were not the same as today. The village was dry and barren. During the war between India and Pakistan, a bomb had destroyed everything there. Most of the villagers were killed instantly, and those who survived succumbed to their injuries eventually. The houses, crops, Trees and animals were all destroyed. Lack of any help from the outside world led to the village losing its very existence. What happened then? asked Tarun. The headman continued. After some days, a middle-aged man came to the village. Nobody knew who was he or where he came from, but it seemed that he was deeply attached to the village. Seeing the miserable condition of the village, he wept as if someone close to him had died. He stayed on in the village and built himself a hut there. Stayed here? In this deserted place? Tarun could not help exclaiming. Nodding, the village headman continued his story. He told Tarun that a man started planting trees in and around the village site from morning till evening. He continued to plant trees. He dug the ground, sowed the seeds and fetched water from far off places to water them. The plants would usually get damaged in the scorching heat of the desert, but he would work Harder to revive them. The passerby used to laugh at him, but he paid no heed to anyone. He kept on with his work without seeking any help from anyone. Before long, the area in and around the site where the barren village once stood was covered with greenery. The trees brought rain, and soon the pond that he had dug was filled with water. The area became an oasis in the desert. People would now throng to the place to rest in the shade of the trees and fetch some water from the pond. One day, the people of a far-off village happened to come by the green haven, following an exodus from their village which was under the grip of famine. Lured by the beauty of the place and availability of water, they decided to settle here. Thus, the village got inhabited again. As more and more people came to settle here, they helped the man in planting trees, harvesting water, making roads and so on. The headman told Tarun that the man had an ardent desire for this village to have electricity. But when repeated applications to the government did not bear fruit, he assisted by the villagers managed to set up a solar plant which provided electricity to the village. Tarun was truly inspired by the history of the village. He felt deep reverence for that great soul who had dedicated his life to the village. He wished to meet him but the headman informed him that the great soul had departed for heavenly abode long ago. Tarun was filled with respect for the man 
he had never met. He imagined that the man was at a far off place, still planting trees for a better tomorrow. He also understood that his hard work and perseverance had paid off.